You are good whenever. Hi, I'm Ron Worthy, and the company that we chose to do is Apple Incorporated. Um, our group members include myself, Chase Winter, Trevor Wilson, Stuart Reed, Danielle Wismer, and Kyle Wright. Um, as a little introduction to Apple, they were founded April 1st, 1976 by Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. They're located in Cooperito, California. Uh, they're the world's second largest information technology company. Uh, they're traded on the NASDAQ Stock Exchange. They are the largest publicly traded corporation in the world. Um, Apple designs, manufactures, and markets communication and media, media devices, personal computers, and portable digital music players. And their business strategy is to be committed to bringing the best user experience to its customers through its innovative hardware, software, and services. And from here, we will take a look at the balance sheet, and I will pass it off to you, Danielle. All right, our total current assets were $89,378 million. Our accounts receivable allowance for bad debt was $82 million. Our ratio of allowance was 3.00351. And our tangible assets were $35,893 million. And that was from our good, or our goodwill and intangible um, work from our beats. And that includes patents, licenses, and trades. Um, our total current liabilities was $80,610 million. Our um, accounts payable and deferred revenue accounts payable was $35,490 million. And our deferred revenue was $8,940 million. Our long-term debt was $53,463 million. Our total stockholders' equity was $119,355 million. And our retained earnings was $87,152 million. Hi, I'm Chase. Um, this is the income statement. Their gross profit for 2015 was $93,626 million, which increased from $70,537 million in 2014. And their gross profit ratio also increased to 0 0.40059 from 0 0.38580 in 2014. That means that they got a better return on their their um, products in 2015, which is good. Their earnings per earnings per share was nine nine dollars and twenty two cents in 2015, and their PE ratio is 12.78, which means that investors will pay twelve dollars and seventy eight cents for every dollar. That they earn, and the stock price as of November 29th was $117.81. I am Stuart Reed, and I will be doing the statement of cash flows. So the proceeds from sales of marketable securities was $107,447 that represents the cash flows from investing. And then we have the proceeds from issuance of common stock, which is $543 million. And that represents the cash flows from financing. My name is Trevor Wilson, and I'll be going over a few of their notable financial practices found in their notes of the financial statement. Um, first one we wanna go over is the shipping costs. Um, they uh, classify shipping costs as revenue because they bill their customers for any shipping and handling um, rather than uh, classifying as expenses a company would do if they would, if they would uh, take on the cost themselves. Um, the second one was the allowance for bad debt and how they calculated that. The um, allowance for bad debt was, was created using a mixture of the historical experience, which is the experience that um, a, the company has had with them prior. Um, the age of the accounts receivables, depending on how old or how new it was. It was. Um, the credit quality of the customer and the current economic 
condition of the industry of the provider. Um, so say that they needed uh, chips and um, they created a, an account for that, they would go off the industry ba the basis for uh, silicon mining as well as silicon production. Um, the next was the long-term debt. Um, it's a notable fact that um, on September 26, 2015, um, Apple actually took out, took out a $54.9 billion um, outstanding bank loan from the UK. Um, just a, a large uh, debt like that feels like it should be noted and uh, out, stated out there for the public. And then the last one we want to go over was the stockholders' dividends. Um, they did issue four dividend announcements during 2015, one for each quarter. Um, the, the first one um, was, for 40, for, was for 47 cents per common stock. Um, the second one was, was for 47 cents as well. The third was for 52 cents, and the fourth was also for 52 cents. And those are each on, on each common stock. Um, so a total, for a total over the year, if you held stock in Apple, um, you would have made a dollar and 98 cents for that stock and the to and the overall payout on that um, on that to the entire company was 11,431 million and for our final piece um, it's kind of our collective opinion that obviously Apple is doing pretty well with their products and services they have a pretty good reputation and their stock prices continue to go up today um, so it is it is uh, notable that they do have a good track record in the in the industry and so that they probably are a good company to be investing in as of the